Yeah, I've had I've had a love for sports uh, in a little bit different of a way than most people did. Like I enjoyed playing it. Don't get me wrong, but I, I actually more so enjoyed picking the teams, right? And uh, putting the pieces <laughs> right. together. A lot of uh, you know a, a general a general manager mentality in a sense, right? Um, so uh, you know I've applied that to business. Um, you know NFL was something as a as a kid. I I'd always aspired to represent NFL players in American football. Obviously, it's huge here. Um, so when I had an opportunity, I, I took it. I took that at 18 and I had a lot of really great, valuable learning lessons. Uh, I had a lot of ups, a lot of downs. I worked with a lot of really high level professional athletes and, and I was able to kind of, uh, pull the curtain, uh, back a little bit and see what, what goes on behind the scenes and, um, you know, how to negotiate contracts, yeah. how to, uh, market, um, how to be creative for your clients and, during that time, that was when the UFC created the Fox deal or had the Fox deal and the UFC was getting a little bit more appeal and mainstream and saw an opportunity. So I kind of transitioned from the NFL side to the UFC side, worked with a lot of high level fighters at the time. I mean, some of the first guys I ever did any work with were Johnny Hendricks and Joe Lozon. Uh, and anyone who knows anything about MMA, they're, they're the godfathers pretty much of, of kind of MMA as it stands today. Um, so for me, it was more of just a, a natural transition. I have loved MMA. I, I loved the sport. Um, but I, I was just right place, right time and, and kind of dug my heels in and um, worked a long, long time. And, and now we got Dodge Sports. Man, that's amazing. So, so you started as an agent, and little by little, you were building up the empire, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look in this in this industry, there's a, there's there's so much to learn, right? Uh, yeah. It's also very connection driven. Um, so it takes a long time to build really strong, valuable connections and relationships with people that can, you know, connect the dots and get your clients from from one point to another. Um, so that takes time and that also takes doing the right thing and building a certain level of trust. And again, with trust, usually that comes with time. So, yeah, I mean, I, I worked with, uh, in the NFL side of things, I worked with a couple different agencies, always kind of stepping up the ladder in terms of the guys that we represented for start of seventh round picks, moved down to third round picks. And then, you know, was doing a little bit of work with, with pro bowlers. Um, and then the same thing goes for MMA. I mean, worked with some, uh, I was able to work with some really high level guys at first, you know? Um, but then I kind of took a little bit of a step back and started to manage some of my own guys under a different agency. And, and now, you know, being the CEO of Dodge sports and an agency that's, you know, on the rise right now is, has its own challenges, you know, as a, as a business owner. What are, what are those challenges right now? You've got more responsibility. I mean, you, you don't just have a small group of, of athletes that you're responsible for mm -hmm. uh, and a brand that's already established. I mean, it's, it's, my, it's my brand. I, I have to continue to, to build it. And I have to make sure that everybody that represents my brand, Dodge Sports, is what I want to be out there to the public. I mean, you only get one shot at a brand and there's one thing you can't fake and that's authenticity. And that's why, you know, my team and I, we, we spend a lot of time on the process as it relates to bringing on new talent. Um, we're also very, very careful and mindful about the business partners that we bring on like Jock Farm and, you know, others that are there. I mean, it's, it's really important for us to have like a really good family mentality, but make sure that we have good character people uh, who are behind the brand. And with that comes its own challenges. You know, you have a lot more responsibility and you're juggling a lot more.